So recently, I've been looking for a way to code radar, and I have been scrolling unknown sheets, and I have found one thread which I would like to elaborate on. Just as a heads up, this will not be a full cheat. There are plenty of good full cheat tutorials on YouTube with good external bases. In this video, I will only show how to do a radar and the required functions. This tutorial fully assumes that you already have what's on the screen right now. To create a basic radar, we will need three functions. Two drawing functions for radar background and radar points, and one function from converting a 3D position to a 2D one. Here is my draw radar background function. The float x and float y arguments are to indicate screen size, and the size will be the square size of the radar. Here I am just defining colors, so I do not need to call imgui color convert float to u34 every single time. These two are for drawing the background and a background outline. These are for drawing grid lines, so one horizontal line and one vertical line. And this one's for drawing the local player center dot. And down here I have the draw radar point function which takes an x and a y, which will be our translated coordinates. And we will have a size, which the user can set, and a color. And we are just adding a single circle with 128 segments uh, to create a perfect circle. If you have copied my radar function one-to-one, -one, this is what your radar should look like in-game. This part of the video is mostly pulled from the unknown cheats thread with some minor modifications. Uh, if you're wondering, the effect destruct for me is just XYZ floats all initialized with the value of zero. Uh, I'm lazy, so I do not do vec2 and vec3. Uh, I'm sure if your cheat uses vec2, vec3, you can figure out which one is which. And for the arguments, we will be giving it a point to rotate, the middle point of our radar, and the local eye angle. We will be defining the set variable, which will be returned at the very end with our rotator coordinates added to the middle point. All of this in the middle is just converting angles to radians, uh, getting the current angle as a cosine as a sine, and then using and then calculating rotation, then adding the rotator point onto middle point dot x and middle point dot y. These are all the functions that we will need, and now we can move on to an actual radar example. This is my current draw radar function. I am reading all of the offsets that aren't required to be inside the entity loop outside of it to save performance. And make sure when you are drawing the radar that you are drawing outside of the entity loop to save as much performance as possible and to not overwrite any potential points you are rendering on top. To begin with our radar, we will first begin by reading both the position of our local player and the location of every pawn in the world. Then we'll get the xy difference and set it to another effector variable called screen pass. We will do this for the x and the y. And then we will be dividing it by a float on integer. The choice is yours. This is just to make sure the entity is not rendering on top of us and there is a distance between us. I have made it configurable. Um, it's set to 6 by default, uh, but I recommend having it at 6 or higher. We will proceed to do some debugging checks to make sure that the screen x never equals a negative, and we will make sure that we are drawing starting from the middle point. Now we can begin by reading our local eye angle using a vector 3. We'll be reading local pawn plus m underscore ang eye angles. Then I will use my earlier defined f vector of rotator point uh, to return the value of the function. Now we will be passing in screen pause, middle point, which I've defined above as well, and our local vangle dot y minus 90 point f. After getting our rotator point, we will create a clamp. Uh, the plus 5 and the minus 9 is just a bit of padding. And instead of using my radar size callback, you can just pass in your radar size, uh, whether that be 150 pixels or 250 pixels, just put that in instead. And now we will use std clamp to clamp the rotator point to the min x and max x. And we will do the same to the y. Now the last step is to draw the point onto our radar, which we can use the draw radar point function for. Up here, I am just quickly grabbing the team and if it's the local team or not, then passing in rotator point dot x, rotator point dot y, 
the size of the radar point. And now I'm using another function to check if it's the enemy team and using a nested if else statement to change the color depending on that. Just as a quick in-game showcase, if we change the size of the radar, the dots will also change along with that. And if we change the radar zoom, you can see how it affects the entities. And we can see that our clamp function is also working as the red dot gets clamped to the very edge. And now if I fly over to the red dot, the blue dot will instead be clamped and it will not go any further beyond those bounds. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to save at least some people time and effort into researching an external radar. Uh, again, all credits to the Unknown Cheats thread, which will be linked in the comments.